Okay, we're going to do problems 8-3, moving on, doing some of those. I'll do 8-3 and 9, 8-8 first. I'll first set up my, my drawing here with the right number of layers, etc. So remember, we go to layer here, and let's double check what we need. Well, we definitely need... In addition to what we have here, we need to add fold lines, which I like to be yellow, fold lines, and I like to add then also projection lines. Again, once you added the, the layer, you want to go ahead and change its line type to what you want it to be. And then I said I wanted that to be yellow. And then eventually you also want to think as you're adding that you want to go ahead and change the line weight here as well, or the plot style. And if you remember the projection lines is something that should be, we'll go ahead and keep it continuous, but we'll make them a color that really fades on the screen and it's going to differ for everybody. That might fade too much. And we're going to go ahead and then more or less start back where we usually do. And now we'll see that view box becomes less important, but we're going to make sure that everything is on. Remember that object layer is on. We're going to get rid of it, erasing that. And eventually you'll realize that you want to sometimes set your drawing the bottom left at that zero, zero point, but now it is not important. We're going to use one unit for each of the little ticks there. And so I believe that is eight by six by four. So I'll go ahead and use a box right now here that is uh, 10 by 10. And we'll change that box a little bit. We're going to go at 10 comma 10. All these are ways just to get your habits working. I can left click on something. Left click over one of the grips, spacebar. I'm going to move it with my F8 off. You all figured out that one, I hope, by now. Escape, escape, zoom, E, zoom, E, explode. I'm just going to offset that maybe one. Offset the bottom one, offset the left side, offset at 0.5, because we're pretty tight in that box, offset 0.5. right away taking these two learning to not just necessarily right click properties but going ahead and changing those to object but also changing my layer my current layer right now so everything I draft from now is on object fill it radius zero click click and what I will suggest is to draft what you see in the light box in terms of solid lines object lines first and so if you've got that long side there, it's obviously, I'm saying obviously, but I'm counting. Eight. Now it's great to use a scale sometimes for this stuff. And you're going to realize something about when you've got those isometric projections. Only things that are measured along the major three isometric directions can be measured to are truly to scale. Everything is slightly off in scale. So you'll see that you might want to try that. And that is going to be actually 6 Paul. So I'm going to offset 6. I'm going to fill it radius 0. I'm making what's called here more or less essentially a 2D bounding box or a, more or less a size of wood from which this thing could be carved out. When you think about that, then there is a line that is 2 above. So I'm going to offset 2. And the one on the left side is 2 wide. Offset 2. But you realize that in, that in fact, then, it is, then there's another one that is 1 up. Offset 1. And this line does not go through, nor does this one. So I'm trimming there. And essentially you have gotten what you see drafted. However, from this line here, this line here does not go through. So you're going to trim that. 
And then you're going to start thinking about lines you don't see, and there's one line that you don't see, and that is 2 over offset 2, extend, screw that, trim. And this then will be the first time that you're putting something truly on a hidden layer, which is the layer called hidden. So that is something that is there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit trim right now. Just the use, you can use fillet, you can use trim, you can use break and extend. And I've got my first box there, my first thing. Now, at this point, I really don't need that view box anymore, and it's going to become sometimes superfluous. You could get rid of it. You've got something that's going to give you scale, but so I'm going to go ahead and ex or erase it. Um, and we're going to do something a little bit different with the yellow this time. We're going to go ahead and want to make the folding box. So I'm going to offset 2 just to give myself some good measure. 2 this way. Offset 2 this way. Fillet radius 0. Click, click. Put those now on that layer called fold lines. So I'm going to change those to the fold lines layer. And then I'm going to left click. Left click, spacebar, spacebar, C for copy, 135. And I've got more or less what is going to be my reverse pool shot line. This next step here is not so much about this next step. It's about learning how to use the command draw order. But what I'm going to do is change my layer now to projection lines. Okay, and then use the X line, even though I don't like to use it a lot. And I'm going to use a vertical one. And I'm going to do it through the end point of there. And then I'm just going to offset through all the places that would project a, more or less a seam, if you would, to that next view. And I'm going to right away then grab them all and then change the draw order, which should be on the mouse all the time. Send it back. And you start to see how this kind of takes shape. I am going to, once again, I offset it 2, so I'm going to offset 4, 2 to here and 2 over. I'm going to offset 4, and you don't need to do that as well. Just to get the general idea then of how things are working, that'll be, I'll make my bounding box. My bounding box is now 6, so I don't need to do anything except for extend, and now grab that. It's that long. Offset 6, and then I can draw a line on top of these lines. Line, but if I want to do the projection lines, I want to be on the object layer. Line from end point there to the end point there. Offset through through the end point there. Now I'm going to stop, pause this and check a little bit, but I want to point out that it's probably not a bad idea to get this idea of a bounding box in each view. Uh, you don't need to do that like a lot of things you don't need to but not a bad idea i'm going to hit pause here i hit pause because my eye told me that that was too wide and in all reality it is not six wide offset four it's four wide and then of course the old tried and true fill it click click and it should generally grab the last thing you drafted so you shouldn't have much of an issue now now we'll try once again Go back to our projection line layer, but this is a great one here. This is will make your current make objects layer current. So you can click on that one now and just click on it, and now all of a sudden you're on the right layer. That's a really good one. So we're going to do X line here from the end point here. And I didn't say horizontal, so I can just give it what it wants, the end point there. Offset T for through the end point, the end point, and the end point. I'm going to pause this, get some lines drafted, and then we're going to finish it up in the 10 minutes. This is now going to go fast. We're going to draft offset one. We don't have any lines to guide us on that one, but in this next one here we do. So we do a line from the intersection there to the intersection you notice there, because we're drafting on the projection lines, 
it gets lost, so I hit E L A for last. That's another great command. L A for last in the selection set mode. Now if I do a line from the intersection of this to the intersection of that, I start to see these lines take shape. If you go across here, this line gets trimmed off, and we're going to end it here and have to go to the second 10 minutes. I apologize. It'll be fast.